I'm Christy Casciano. I'm Jeff Kulikowski. For the first time, the city of Syracuse is directly blaming the state DOT's I-81 ramp closure intended to, to improve the parkway problem for resulting in trucks hitting the bridge over Park Street. Three trucks have hit that railroad bridge in about an 18-hour time span. Tonight, News Channel 9's Andrew Donovan has this diagnosis from city leaders. It's almost normal now to see a banged up truck in the shadow of the low hanging bridge that mangled it. A bit more unusual, seeing two. Two of the three that hit the railroad bridge over Park Street within about 18 hours. For the first time, Syracuse City Hall is saying what many suspected. It's a direct result of the ramp from I-81 to Onondaga Lake Parkway being closed, which the state DOT did to keep trucks away from that notorious bridge. A statement from the mayor's office states in part, we're requesting New York State DOT reconsider the 81 closure, increase signage directing trucks on 81 to use the New York State Thruway to access Liverpool, or assist the city with increased signage and safety interventions at Park Street Bridge. Three this time makes at least 16 for the year based on our rough count. It's likely more. A lot of people rely heavily on, on GPS or, or Google Maps to get to certain places. And yes, probably within the map, it's not going to it's not going to show the height restriction. So it, it'll give you probably the most efficient route, but it may not alert you to things like uh, heights of bridges and so on. In most cases, the drivers who hit these bridges are from outside the area, usually from outside the state. The driver whose truck hit yesterday has a license from Nevada. The driver who hit today, his license is from Pennsylvania. But so they're not familiar with the, the height restrictions, uh, but the, you know it is, it is clearly posted. And so a lot of times what's happening here is just driver inattention. Park Street isn't the only option. Truck drivers can still take I-81 to Old Liverpool Road or 7th North Street to stay clear of low bridges. In Syracuse, Andrew Donovan, News Channel 9. And a spokesperson for the state DOT says it will continue to coordinate with the city of Syracuse on the most effective path forward.